kidding. I took advantage of this knowledge. This Christmas story was where I crossed the line on my parents' intelligence. They tell you about Santa Claus and his eight tiny reindeer, and then they tell you that he rides a sleigh around the world on the night of Christmas Eve annually. They just raise your expectations and fuck themselves over because now you get to ask the questions. You get to ask why the hell there is some fat communist breaking in and running into your house and stealing your cookies. This guy supposedly has to make it to every single house in the fucking world in around eight fucking hours, but he has time to eat your fucking cookies. Alright, we have to know he was at our house. Because the big fucking canoe weighing the tree down is not enough. There has to be a bite in the cookie, or no fat man broke into the house. That canoe was there the whole damn time, you're just fucking delusional. Nesquik can quit with their damn commercials about strong bones because Santa's not fucking Chuck Norris. If anything, Nesquik is a fucking tart, it's not even milk. They are advertising what they don't sell. Stupid fucking robot. Santa Claus will be your tricks. If he doesn't skip you make time for the other house, that's the whole argument for the naughty list. It's a fucking loophole and it's working. Cause if that's not the case, then Santa Claus has to be the omnipotent knower of right from wrong. The same guy that thinks putting a wooden train under your tree cancels out breaking into your house in the middle of the night when you're supposed to be safe and sound. Fix my roof, you fuckhead. My sister thinks the sky is falling cause you're fucking reindeer tampered on poorly constructed wood and now our dollhouse is crushed by the bloody fan. Why the dollhouse? was positioned under the fan directly in the center of the room is none of your concern. Maybe she didn't want her paper dolls to fly out of the window. You can't expect us to have a working AC with this crappy fucking rooftop. Now can you? Get the fuck out, we couldn't afford cookies this year. Then you learn that reindeer fly during hunting season. Once again, no, because the turkeys don't get to fly during hunting season. Or the bunnies, what makes the reindeer so special? They run into the streets and go run Republic on an upcoming car. Why the hell do they choose to walk then? Those are deer, not red. The correct term is caribou, you stupid fuck. And in Greenland, there are reindeer. Because at an early age, you've developed a sense that deer are reindeer that don't fly, and vice versa. Well, it sucks for you, because that's not the case. Now you're confused, and the questioning starts all over again. How do they fly? Kids don't want to know why they fly. No one gives a fuck why they fly. We want to know how. And how did two reindeer with black noses give birth to a reindeer with a circuit? his nose. It's not a gene. He's the only goddamn reindeer with a big fucking bright electronic red nose. How the fuck does that even happen? Did the fucking elf store some Christmas lights in the mom's dear dying? How does that work? The same way Santa Claus needed Rudolph to guide his sleigh because beforehand he couldn't see a fucking thing. Those kids got their presents by chance. It seems that chance wore out because now he needs a two inch light bulb to guide the way. Do you even think he has time to see where he's going? He's got eight hours. I wouldn't think he'd give a fuck if he could see. The whole trip would have to be a fucking time blur but then he saves time with that blast of night list. Why do we strive to please Santa? The elves and the reindeer are the ones putting their back into it. And Santa is the one that gets to eat the cookies. Like, fuck, those reindeer need to stomp on that fucker and get a paycheck. I'm waiting for an elf strike. But until then, there's several more questions to address. Why do we put a tree in our house? I guess it's an alternative to adopting a child. Why do we put presents under the tree? So we have a legitimate reason to surround a tree at 6 a.m. in the morning. Might as well make it feel like home. Where did candy canes come from? This roll up crack with a red ribbon around it. Fucking guys, jeez. What are the elves doing when they're out making toys? Fucking Snow White? Why are they not making toys, greedy bitches? Want more? You see all of her twists. Why do we put up Christmas lights? So Rudolph can sense his kin. Why is Santa sit right? Oh. Reindeer got their paycheck. Why did they pick on Rudolph? Who the hell would scream Rudolph at Climax? Seriously. Why does Santa Claus only eat cookies? Because you're too lazy to bake the fucker a cake? How does Santa know the Jews from the Christians? Now you're The Jews open up their presents before Christmas Day. Christians do it on Christmas Eve, so Santa doesn't have time to rework the lists. What the fuck does one do with a partridge in a pear tree, two turtle doves, three French hens, four golden birds, five golden rings, six geese, seven swans, eight maids, nine ladies, ten lords, eleven pipers, and twelve drummers? Sounds like some fucked up gang bang with accessories to me. A damn sodomy to the max. Nothing says I love you like ten men to boy with. Wonder why I'm on cheat? You set yourself up. What a headache. Not to mention the drummers. Go for Jesus! Will Santa Claus not come to town if you cry? Will he just skip your town and its inhabitants because you cried? Like, what if you broke your legs from falling off a three-story building because you were pushed and you were up there putting up Christmas lights in the spirit of Christmas? Will he not come because you got salt water on your face? Does Santa Claus disapprove of salt water? Is he not about the salt line?